Okay, so I was scrolling through my social media feeds last week, and this post from CBC Radio Canada came up. And like, sixth grade French was not my forte, but any talk of kids and trans express is gonna raise some alarm bells, because that usually means some transphobic misinformation is coming, no matter the language. But is, is it really that bad? Yeah, it's really that bad. Okay, so Zia, for an Anglophone like me and anyone rightfully worried about this anti-trans nonsense that's been on the rise across Canada and other provinces like Alberta and Saskatchewan, what is going on in Quebec and why should we be worried about it? So Radio-Canada put together this story about gender-affirming care, but it is full of all of the tropes of what not to do when reporting on trans people. Moi, je there's that title, Trans Express. Also phrases like, this field is evolving with capital S speed. Okay, but let's be real. French is a, a little overdramatic, right? That's what this is. It's hard to know how much of it is French as a language just being kind of dramatic because this thing is full of misconstrued facts and poorly framed case studies. The doc does feature somebody with a positive experience transitioning, but not until 40 minutes into the program. And instead, viewers are bombarded with stories of young people who regretted their transitions. So for someone who doesn't know any better, it creates an impression that people are experiencing regret in droves, when in reality, studies have shown over and over that transition regret is exceedingly rare. The investigation interviewed several experts who are opposed to gender affirming care and have historically been, but those include people like Lisa Littman, whose rapid onset gender dysphoria theory has been heavily debunked and whose paper on the topic was actually retracted last year. Oh, I know her. She's sort of this specter that lurks in the shadows for any of us journalists who cover trans topics. So does this Radio Canada piece get anything right? The documentary gets so close to identifying some actual problems like the overburdened public health clinics and the rise of privatization, but it misses the mark. They do mention, for example, that it takes 8 to 12 months to see a doctor at public clinics that provide gender-affirming care, and that's a wait time that we'd consider unacceptable or overly long for most forms of medical care. Still, that title, Trans Express, gives off the impression that you can walk into any doctor's office in Quebec and leave with a hormone prescription in like 15 minutes. And it seems like Radio Canada did find a private clinic where an accelerated timeline was possible, but that's not the typical outcome here. I've personally gone through the process of getting on hormones in Quebec, and as an adult, it took me close to a year and several appointments. But still, rather than looking at the province's struggling healthcare system and the rise of privatization and the worsening quality of care that everybody gets with that rise, Radio Canada choose to present gender affirming care as something that's happening to people too young, too fast, just writ large. Okay, so a lot of these journalistic mistakes are pretty similar to some of the nonsense that we've seen in English language media then. But it's wild that this is all churning away in Quebec while a lot of the country doesn't even realize it. This isn't the first time francophone media in Canada has been transphobic. Like, we have horrible columnists here, just the same as in the rest of the country. But Anglophone Canada tends to ignore what's going on in Franco media, I think because of the language barrier. It's also important to remember that this is landing at a really dangerous time. Up until now, trans issues haven't taken up much political space, and issues like language protection and immigration have been the ones to be highly politicized. But now, with the Comité des Sages studying gender, a report like this one only serves to whip up moral panic and politicize care. And right now in Canada, that's the last thing we need our mainstream media institutions to be doing. Doing it in French is no excuse to be doing it wrong.